and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later over there for some Grixis midrange. So this was a deck that I put together today where I just wanted to play Legion Warboss and Thief of Sanity um, in a little bit more aggressively slanted Grixis deck with those two cards together. And I wanted Dreadhorde Butcher uh, to start to uh, start it off also as like the two drop. Um, you know, started with a lot more cards in here. Uh, wanted to play like some more two drops with like Remodi Reveler or Direfleet Daredevil. Uh, ended up moving the Darede Daredevils to the sideboard. Um, but it's kind of hard to fit everything in, <laughs> you know. Um, definitely wanted some good removal. So we have the Shocks and Lightning Strikes. And as you can tell, I'm going with the aggressively slanted removal here. They can go upstairs also if we're finishing the game out. Um, and, of course, we need Thought Erasure in, in Grixis' deck. And having turn 2 Thought Erasure into turn 3 War Boss or Thief is a really good uh, recipe for winning. We have the Chandra's for our card advantage that can also deal damage upstairs. Nickel Bolus the Ravager is good in an aggressive shell also as just a 4-mana four 4-4 four, four flyer that has ETB discard a card. That's a really good rate. Plus, you know, it has that 7-mana ability that's, you know, basically win the game Planeswalker for the most part. And since we're aggressively slanted, I'm going with Angrath here over Nickel Bolus Dragon God. Nickel Bolus Dragon God is kind of difficult to cast, you know, being triple black and my dead be my deck, sorry, being a lot more red heavy than black heavy. Um, so I'd be worried about that. But then also, while Nickel Bolus Dragon God is awesome, Angrath is really good at finishing games whenever you're ahead um, or even at parity. Really takes over the game. And so I want to play some Angraths. Haven't been playing too many Angraths here recently. But I think this card's really good in this metagame. Lots and lots of three drops around to be able to steal and have the and uh, sacrifice them. And if we are like really trying to win with War Boss and Thief of Sanity, Angrath can clear the way for them. Even if we're taking, you know, like a four mana or more card, if we get to a hidden with Thief or get or hidden with War Boss, that can help out by quite a bit. Um, so yeah, we're going we're going Angrath here. So haven't played this deck at all yet. We'll kind of see how how it plays out. Um, we're going to be playing this over in Ranked, as you can see here. So like while we're playing, if we feel like we need to be making any updates, any card changes, especially like sideboard-wise, we'll be able to do that game by game. Um, Sarkin is better whenever you have more Planeswalkers, but having just the Chandras, and then if it was just Chandras and Sarkins, I don't know if that would be enough. What about this Eternal Army? I've been having good luck like every time I play the Eternal Army. Let's do that. Alright, so Grixis Midrange. Yes, I, I do think the mono red matchup is going to be pretty tough with this deck. Um, that's one that. That's like the one I probably want to face the least. Really have this deck kind of designed to try to beat midrange and control decks. Yeah, the Bant Party Bus deck list is right here. The best odds of beating red deck wins in best of one is probably an Esper Dovin's Acuity deck. So I could shock to hold shock to hold up shock. Hmm. Burning Prophet's pretty annoying. That's an annoying one. Hey, what's up, Sniper Only? Thanks for that sub there. Yeah, it does look like wizards. Right, 
Reckless Rage is pretty nice. Alright, so I'll have Nicol Bolas the Ravager next turn. They can block this at Elise. So that's got to be another counter spell. Shocking in like that. So definitely really regret killing the Burning Prophet, how that worked out. You know, I wish I would have saved the Shock for Adelie's, for sure. Let's get these Daredevils in, uh, and some Coils, some Hostage Takers. Um... Duress? Maybe, maybe not playing all these cards. So let's see, the, uh, hmm. The counter magic and everything's gonna be kind of a problem. Hey, Radical Guru. Yeah, I don't really think I want Thief or War Boss, honestly, in this matchup. So if I take out Thief and War Boss, that leaves me with 64 here. I could get rid of Butcher as well. I'm basically, you know, turn you know, turn into morph into a Grixis control deck here. I think I still like Angrath with with all these duresses and Thought Razors to pair. Um, hopefully can resolve an, an Angrath. What's our win con? The uh, Nicol Bolas, Hostage Taker. The, the biggest reason why I don't really like Butcher is the Augur of Bolases. Butcher matches up pretty terribly there. I mean, even the even the Burning Prophets. Like, both of those, like, the two... You know, we saw most likely eight uh, two-mana one-threes. And I don't, I don't think two... Two mana one threes are too good for. For. Uh... All right, charter course retort. Um, it's just a lot of stuff. I guess I should have played this first in case of a their draw was a spell pierce, I guess. Come on. 
Come on, land. Ugh, gross. Thank you, Yud. This is disappointing. <sighs> Kept the three lander with our 25 land deck and just could never, never drew a fourth. Yeah, I think that's GG too. No scrying at the top. It's got to be counter magic. Chandler on the 27 month streak. So many months. So many months. Yeah, and we had the surveil too. That's true. Yeah, we. We had three mana and the surveil. Now we got to the fourth. <laughs> Almost two years. All right, so much for the Eternal Army. Eternal Army, not lucky. Go. We're playing Grixis. We're going Bolas. In my image. All right, we're just playing Bant Party Bus. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Alright, so this is Esper. Looks like it. isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. Hey, that was uncalled for. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I think trading Dreadhorde Butcher for Basilica Bell Haunt's a uh, pretty decent trade. Let's try this. Well, that's a bummer. Well, I guess my worst defeat. 
to see what, what they got. Yep, it's the top deck race. I am failing the top deck race so far. With the three straight lands. Ooh, we're now passing the top deck race. No removal? No removal? You have the mana to be able to flip Nicol Bolas. No! You show remorse. I'll uh. Never mind, that was a that was a good last card for them. I'm pretty sure I'm just taking lethal here. Or I guess, I, well, I have this thing that gets to block too. Never mind. I have practiced against hone your prowess. Yeah, our opponent would need red mana to be able to flip the bolus. I don't actually have any outs anymore. Command the Dreadhorde stuff. Alright, definitely want these Daredevils. Do I want the Elder Spells? Yes. So that's no removal for Hero Precinct 1. Basically no removal. Yeah, Hostage is good later on in the game. Might just... Am I cutting Dreadhorde Butcher? Let's see. Hmm. Maybe you're just not playing Duress. Yeah, I'll just not play Duress. Yeah, I thought about having Ashiok in the sideboard. I am getting uh, more and more on board with Ashiok.
All right, come on, land drop. Come on, land drop. Wow. Ugh, same thing as game two last match. No land. Could be a turn too late now. Bleh. Oh, I should have played Nicol Bolas. I knew you needed no, I like this. No, yeah, never mind. No, I like I like the Chandra. Yeah, Dreadhorde can still target your own graveyard with Ashiok, but it does reduce the good like the cards that are good against you. Alright, on the draw. Probably should play all these duresses on the draw. And maybe no war boss with them playing Cry the Carnarium. And Bell Haunts and all that kind of stuff. Or maybe no, let's go no butcher on the draw. Yeah, War Boss the Thief still can take over games. We'll take out the Butchers on the draw. No, I don't I don't need coils for Bellhaunt. I don't need to kill Bellhaunt. I can just kind of sit there. It's, I'll either go around it, like I'll just have War Boss kind of go around it, or um, go over it with the Flyers. Mostly be going over it with the Flyers. I have like Bedevil that could kill it, need be. Yeah, I I had the butchers in on the play. I took them out on the draw. Yeah, Ashok's good against Phoenix, and honestly, even against like the the hard. Esper control decks. Ashiok is just fine there because milling them out is not unrealistic. I train everyone with thoughtfulness before action. I'd rather save this Elder Spell for a Teferi, like the five mana Teferi. I'm letting them activate Narset one more time. Of course, D Daredevil will get to Thought Erasure next turn. I haven't had a lot of success with Davriel. Um, every time I've played decks with Davriel, it's been a, it's been a little disappointing. I have not unlocked the stained glass Vivian. Is that one of the ones for this week? I have not. Skip to the good part. Unfortunately, I'm a mana away from being able to play Chandra and Elder Spell. But obviously, I'm Elder Spelling this big Teferi. It's only a 
matter Such of time. Is upsetting. Gotta kill that thing. Thank me later. I'll protect you. All right, maybe we get a war boss who kill this Teferi. There's a war boss. Ah, uh, they had removal. Dang. Nothing. Can't they just draw some lands? Just no lands over here. Oops. Would prefer to land drop. Guess you don't need me anymore. I've got time. Burn. Dang. Just want land drops. Whatever. Figure it out on your own. Hmm. But now now we're gonna hit land drops. Now I do not want land drops, but now we'll hit them. <laughs> of course. Because now we got rid of those spells. This might be a bad idea. I'm known for my excellent timing. Bleh. No, I am not making this up as I go. So maybe I did need coil for Bell Hunt. Spell haunts are just gonna go the distance. That's Getting rid of that bedevil off the top was pretty rough. Could have definitely used that bedevil to kill the bell haunt. Trust me, I have a plan. Just one one bell haunt and all interaction. I guess two bell haunts. GG's. Teferi re bouncing Bell Haunt and replaying him was so awesome that third game. Making me discard some good cards there. That was really nice. Yeah, Bell Haunt looked really impressive there that game. Very, very impressive. Mm -hmm. 
Red? I don't want to face red. I think one play that really cost me that last game was after they played Teferi and Minus, and then I just played the War Boss instead of playing one of my four drops. And they just had, I just turned on the Tyrant Scorn. I think that was the big mistake I made that previous game. Was that I should have just played one of the four drops and basically not played the, the war boss at all. And not turn on the Tyrant Scorn. And then like I could have discarded the war boss later on. A difficult hand to beat. Finale of Promise, in particular, is going to be quite tough. I don't really have any um, any exile in my main deck for the Phoenixes. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be playing the dredge deck up next after this. <laughs> yeah, we've had a lot of mana troubles this league, like these three games here. No, I don't think I should have Lava Coil as main deck instead of Strike and Shock. I know how to stop you. All right, Nickel Bull, let's help us out. So many radical ideas. Season Bedevil here over Lightning Strike because of mana considerations. That being a bolt's a huge problem though. So I have coils in the sideboard that will help us out a little bit. Do 
Definitely love Daredevils for their coils as well. <laughs> this is a... Like the first matchup, this is another matchup where Warboss and Thief of Sanity aren't very good. Which is unfortunate. Neither is Angrath. Though. Or Chandra. I think... I think we're just going to try to have a war boss or a Thief of Sanity stick. Yeah, I think this is what I want to go with. So far, the last like the last three games, our opponents have just been like they've had really good hands and um, really good draws, and they've just had great pressure every single turn. Um, and sometimes you just have to give it up to the opponents. You know, sometimes the opponents just have better stuff than what you have, and that's kind of what's been going on here. They have a shock in the graveyard. I mean, I really do just want lands. Yeah, I just want land. And, you know, I'm taking the spell pierce. I took the spell pierce here because it was something that we could actually play. We've had good cards. The the whole three land thing isn't isn't ideal. <laughs> That's okay, Mercer. Yeah, I, I wish the rat colony wasn't 
legal and pauper. I'm glad they got rid of persistent petitioners. I wish they would have got rid of the rat colony also. Well, that was pretty lame. I had real problems hitting land drops. You know, last game we couldn't hit a fourth land drop either. One of the games against Esper, we couldn't hit land drops. I'm playing 25 lands. I just haven't hit land drops, though. Yeah, I don't really care that, that like, a, a rat deck isn't that hard to beat. I just, I don't like it from, uh... From just a deck building perspective, that that's part of the format. My creations are things of beauty. Attack. Ah, is destruction your only art? Uh, question is, can Grixis annihilate Esper? And the answer is no. Grixis has a lot of good cards, but so does Esper. Esper has just as many good cards in it. Yeah, the Crixus and Esper is usually just a really close matchup. Either way, I wouldn't say either one annihilates the other. Usually, just how the cards, how the cards fall. Yeah, all the all the lists are up on Stream Decker. Um, I don't know actually if I have like. The dredge list may be a little old that's up there, like from a while ago. I don't know if I put the new dredge list up for today, honestly. Grabbing the Spell Pierce just ended up being a really bad decision. If we had Crackling Drake, that would be a lot nicer, even though it would just be a... Like a, what, a 1-4? <laughs> 2-4? And I guess I'm losing the race now. We're doing it the wrong way. You're supposed to draw your lands early and then draw a bunch of spells later. We drew all the spells early. And now that's late game and we're top teching. Now we're top teching all the lands. Good game. All right, we'll play one more with this deck. Let's try it one more time before maybe just throwing it away. Cool, glad you're running the Knife Feather deck and enjoying that. And <laughs> we have not been lucky with lands at all. Maybe Bolus is the problem.
Square. Alright, feeling better about this game. We have four lands. It's a lot of lands. Now we can draw spells. And we'll be good to go. Gonna Thought Erasure the next turn, um, or Lightning Strike, like one of the two. I would like to Never mind. To the library. So I was worried about like Nissa, you know, like the five mana card there. Obviously, Thought Erasure doesn't do anything right now. Go upstairs. I think against the camp the command the Dreadhorde deck. Should probably just try to take out their life total Seek as much as possible. Find. They're saying command the Dreadhorde. Man, all the lands. So we'll see if I get punished for playing the Lightning Strike there, if they find a Wild Growth Walker. But I'm I'm not winning a long game, so I'm just trying to end the game as soon as I can. Jay Reek with that resub. Welcome back. Where's my hype boats? My hype boats left. I have to refresh. Do not harm my scrolls. There they are. Got the hype boats back. Alright, so that's sub number 13 on the day. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. So I hit the Tamio for two to keep Tamio from being able to mine us. Hey, welcome back, Rat Veil. Again, lots of subscribers today. Thank you all, everybody. Krasis.
Well, that probably means I'm dead. My research has been compromised. Yeah, yeah, you have to do it every month. You have to manually redo Twitch Prime every month. Minnesota MTG. Content's always great, but I'm really just here for the background music. <laughs> Thanks, Minnesota. We're already halfway to the second goal today. Every story is an opportunity for new data. <clears throat> I think you will find my notes helpful. All right, so we are really close to killing them. We have four shocks, four lightning strikes. We know we're not drawing one this turn, though, because of the bolus. I do have the ability to... Uh, I do have the seven mana required to... Uh, Transform Bolus. Um, I don't have anything great to get. Like Nissa can make three threes every turn. I have learned much from my ancestors. Dreadhorde Butcher doesn't quite get it done. I'm just going to die to these Krasises. Turns out Krasis is still good. Yeah, I can I can Tamio and grab Lightning Strike. That's true, but that doesn't get it done now with this other Krasis. I need Angrath to steal Krasis. Ooh. Okay, so that's the plan. Steal Krasis. That's the plan. We'll see if it works. I'll put on seven cards over there still. Oh, it's not going to work. I shouldn't have played the Watery Grave. Oh, I messed up by playing the Watery Grave. Oh, well, that's just going to end it also. Because I was gonna say they could they could have command the dread horde for the, my nickel bolus and make me discard after after attacking these two. Well, 
But yeah, the Wild Growth Walker gaining life just ends it too. Uh, well, no, actually it doesn't, because they, they let me keep Angrath, so I could draw Shock or Strike. If they attack with the Crasises. Yeah, Command the Dread Horde was a great, great card. It's a it's a tough one to compete with with mid range decks. It's tough to compete with Command the Dread Horde, honestly. You're making it difficult to work. Hmm. To the library. Well, they didn't kill Nickel Bolas. So they, they gave me an out. You know, I just gotta draw a shock or a strike. Come on, shock or strike. Butcher? That's one off. Alright, so how many... We don't know what that card is yet. We've seen one shock and one strike. All right, which one are we going to take up and find? A shock or a strike? Let's go. I'm feeling fight. shock. Yeah, we're going to shock the world. No. No shocks. No, we need... We couldn't draw two with Bolas. We need Bolas to take out the 4-4. Four -four. I should have said Dreadhorde Butcher. Dreadhorde Butcher would have got there. Hmm. I guess I just have to draw two and hope for like two shocks or strikes, I guess. I always have an answer. Here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Yeah, this is over. Because they're going to use Tamiyo to grab... Jade Light back and gain 6 life and then get to Dread Horde also uh, at 12 life. Uh, it's probably over. Maybe it's not. Who knows? We would have won if we would have drawn a, a strike or a shock there because we would have had Nicol Bolas would have minus and killed the 4-4. Four four. We would have taken the 6-6 six six, and so we would have hit them down to 2. There you go, Storm. That's awesome. These are a lot of attackers. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fifteen, sixteen. So this is sixteen here.
fires out, pay for but that. the embers burn on. Hmm. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. You will find my notes helpful. I think my only play is say lightning strike and hit three lightning strikes. Yeah. I mean, one Angrath doesn't do it. There's only one Angrath left. There's three lightning strikes in the deck. Maybe three. Maybe all three of them are three of the top four. That was a bunch of lands. Well, I tried. <laughs> Thanks for that resub there, Magic Harry. No. We didn't see spells for removal too much from them, did we? We saw a cast down. Tammy, I was pretty broken. So I'm taking out War Boss because they have all the Explore creatures that just gum up the ground. I guess I need Coils. Does that mean I'm supposed to take out Butcher, though, also? No, nah, Butcher's good. A lot of fours. And try a couple daredevils. Yeah, we still have we still have creatures. Okay. Come on, Shockland. Come on, Shockland. Shockland. Nope. Turn too late, Shockland. Turn too late. I'll still take you. You're a turn too late. All right, good. We got the Tamio out of there. Good start. Of course, I've been playing with fire with not killing the wild growth walkers. Wow, 
Why did I have to say something? I didn't have to say anything. I didn't have to say anything at all. So are they going to play the Krasis right now for two? Or nah? Alright, that worked out. Keep the mountain in hand. We know we're drawing the Daredevil next turn. Maybe they uh, draw a discard spell. Yep, we're in the top tech battle, but we're ahead. But they're way ahead on life, but... We got two creatures, so they're none. That's a good one. Ooh, and it resolved. You're no fire. So do they just have spells that cost more than four? You know, they're just sitting on like Nissa's or something over there. Yep, there's one Nissa. Ah, oh, they had another spell. Lame. Go, Butcher, go! No. I don't think that's a thing. I don't know why I would just light up your negates like it was a good sideboard versus your opponent. I don't... I don't think that's a thing. I've personally never seen that ever happen. Okay, we got a game. We're going to game three. We're going to game three. Getting this third Daredevil in here over the Elder Spell. <laughs> oh. We had some clutch things that game, like playing the Thought Erasure, and I think most everybody on the, the turn three would have just killed the Wild Growth Walker, but playing the Thought Erasure and then taking Tamiyo. If I if I just kill the Wild Growth Walker, we're gonna lose that game to Tamio. <laughs> yes, this is Young the Giant. I don't love our chances here in this game three.
but we're going to play the game. Well, good start. Butcher into Thief. I don't really want to trade a Butcher for the Branch Walker. Guess we are. Killing it still, though. Maybe I should trade the Butcher because Lightning Strike kills Hostage Taker. No land drop. Tammy, you have too much loyalty. So the plan is to uh, <clears throat> the storied past. Bedevil Tamio the next turn. What a strange and magnificent world. Hmm. That's pretty unfortunate. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I've weathered tougher storms than you. Okay. I have learned a little here. Well, don't really like where we're at against six cards and a Nyssa. Really don't like where, uh, where we're at. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You don't need a protection ability of the Planeswalker if it has too much loyalty to kill. Very true. Well, I'm dead. Yeah, that that Nissa killing my Angrath that was really clutch, and then obviously, uh, you know, a two mana seven nine that gains eighteen life. That's not bad either. It's a lot better than my my two mana creature over here. Hey, Liliana Vess.
Oh, the sun is shining outside. Oh, the sun is shining now. All right, maybe Thief can find removal spells for us. We need to like draw a spell plus Thief find a spell. Cuz like even if I like if Thief just finds removal for Wild Growth Walker. I'd still be taking lethal, but nope, another land. All right, well this did not work out too for too much for us. I do not believe with your statement that Angrath is too weak. I don't. I don't think that Angrath was the problem. I think, unfortunately, Dreadhorde Butcher Legion War Boss Thief of Sanity, the core that I was like pretty excited to play, just got trumped by everything that all the other decks were doing. That like. War boss and thief can be okay when like they're good whenever you have a lot of protection for them or if you're like really aggressive with gruel with war boss um, but we didn't really have too much protection for them and we didn't have the card advantage to go to compete with the other decks you know like crasis crasis just top deck just um was just a lot better than everything we were doing um you know teferi's same kind of thing like that was the problem was the problem was an angrath or Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. The problem was, or Thought Erasure, the problem was everything else it was not strong enough. I was thinking that I wanted Shocks and Lightning Strikes, as we talked about before, as like removal that could go upstairs, but I needed like Lava Coils. Um, hey, Dr. Tobias Funk. Yeah, like the. Basically, Hydroid Crisis plus, you know, the all the card advantage that Phoenix gets, like the velocity that it just got to turn churn through the deck, um, and then Crisis and then Teferi's. I just couldn't I couldn't compete with those cards. I mean, well, I could compete, but I just couldn't defeat them. It was pretty rough. Um, yeah, Chandra. We just we never really drew Chandra. Also, you know, we hardly hardly ever played Chandra. I played it like one total game, and that was like the card that. You know, I'm trying to make sure, like, later on in the game that we still have, like, things to play with this, but just never really saw it. The The games where I drew, like, Nicol Bolas and Chandra the most were the games where I was just only had three lands. Um, but, yeah, unfortunately, Dreadhorde Butcher, just everything went way over the top of Dreadhorde Butcher. You know, whether it was Wild Growth Walker or anything else. Unfortunate. A lot of cool cards here. Um, but. Yeah, Nicol Bolas Planeswalker um, is difficult to cast in, in this deck. You have to be like really swamp heavy to cast Nicol Bolas, and this deck is not very swamp heavy. It's not. You know, it's not just that Nicol Bolas costs exactly five mana all the time. It can cost more if you don't have three swamps. Um, I'd have to, like, cut back on red to be able to... Like, you know, you, you have to... To support Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, you have to just build the... You'd have to build the deck differently, which you, you certainly can. But you'd have to build the deck more towards black removal um, and, you know, go, go a lot more black heavy to support that. I want it to be red based here with the aggressiveness so that's why i have angrath instead and i was happy with angrath honestly angrath was good yeah no regrets of playing angrath over nickel bolus planeswalker at all anyway that's Grixis midrange um didn't do too well for us but that's okay we uh learned some stuff you know tried a new deck 
here and you know didn't work out but that's all right learned learned things and that's that's what's important all right so if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it please hit the like button over there and subscribe to the channel would be nice as well that's it for grixis midrange